Continuum. So Tony Utley, the president of Continuum, also spoke at the Six Five Summit. God, that was a great event. All right, anyway, anyway, and they had some news about Inquanto. Talk about it. Yeah, so first off, just a reminder uh, on what Quantinium is. Uh, it was a company founded by the merger of Honeywell Quantum Solutions, which was quantum hardware with Cambridge Quantum Computing, and that's uh, quantum software. So, by the way, try to say this uh, five times fast, Quantinium and Quanto, Quantinium and Quanto, <laughs> Quantinium and Quanto. Actually, it's easier than I thought. So, what is it? Well, it's a Python-based quantum chemical software platform that performs chemistry algorithms on current quantum hardware. And this was uh, following a, a, some big announcements uh, that talked about some record uh, quantum volume numbers and an upgrade to quantum NLP. So uh, Quantinium is, is, is on a roll. So this uh, offering is specifically targeted at chemistry, okay? And there are seven or eight core chemistry algorithms. I'm not going to bore you with them uh, now, but you can read the article that uh, our principal analyst, uh, Paul Smith Goodson, wrote uh, wrote up on Forbes. But essentially, this is in place not because we've, we've hit uh, quantum uh, superiority uh, of, of classical better in quantum, but there are things that you can do in quantum and the way that those algorithms work that you fundamentally can't do on classical uh, computing. Even a supercomputer that can perform over 500,000 trillion floating point operations per second can't compute a precise solution. So unless a new classical computing tech emerges, only quantum computing has the potential to handle computations like this. So. What does this mean? Why bring this platform out before their superiority today? That's to get experience on it because we are going to hit the quantum volume that we need in whether you want to debate three or five years, it's going to be here. So this is to let's get started, uh, get started on the workflow and, um, you know, whether it's input, uh, in quantization, different methods, quantum computation, cranking out the results you're going to be ready for this as a uh as a chemical uh scientist yeah you uh hit on a lot of the high notes this is geeky stuff man and uh, but it's important we had a quantum uh track we spent a lot of time talking about the practical versus the sort of um ambitions and you know when it comes to quantum we have two schools you've got the school of big engineering geeks you know competing to be the biggest geeks possible and then you've got the actual how is quantum going to coexist with classical computing to drive real important results so in quantum you know what i like about what continuum is doing as a whole is they are really trying to do some limited and general availability products in market that are quantum that people can actually try and utilize. So, you know, this is just another example. I see what they're doing, you know, in terms of uh, quantum chemistry. We know that healthcare drug compounds are a huge opportunity, Pat. And so this is a, a good move. It's a step forward. It's a it's a, just a notch in the belt of making quantum real for the market. 